Hello. Hi. This is, this is Sam Evans with IAAP. I'm joined today by our colleague, Sam Witt, and they're joining us from, I believe, Washington, D.C. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Uh, so we are talking today about digital technical web accessibility. And I'm inviting each of our guests today to introduce themselves, how they got started in technical digital accessibility and um, and and what their roles are. And we'll just start there and let you have a chance to, to introduce yourself, what you do in your current role and how you got started in web accessibility. Awesome, thank you, Samantha, for providing me this uh, great opportunity. My name is Samrawit uh, Biazen. I go by Sam. Um, I am a digital accessibility senior associate. Uh, I have a CPWA, um, so a full-time uh, work within the accessibility spectrum. So how I got started, uh, with the digital accessibility work um, is because as a blind person, I, I am, by the way, I am totally blind and I use a screen reader for my professional in daily, um, you know, day-to-day -day activities. And in doing so, as you all know, I, you know, we encounter a lot of accessibility issues. Uh, if it is just going to school, working or shopping uh, online or anything um, we do on the internet, uh, it's more, you know, there is a high probability we encounter accessibility issues. And that's when I developed the interest to learn more about accessibility because um, I just wanted to call in you know, who, like if it is online shopping, I wanna, uh, explain how their site is not accessible. And for that, I needed to know how I could communicate with those people about the accessibility, uh, accessibility issues I've been encountering. So that's uh, how I got started learning about accessibility. And then when I went to college, I started working as a web accessibility tester for my university. And, um, now um, where I work, uh, I am a full-time accessibility uh, specialist. I did not start with accessibility at my workplace. Uh, I was an accountant, but you know, because of the accessibility issues uh, I was running into, I thought like, oh, it would be very um, important for me to, you know, do something about accessibility and make a difference. Um, at the workplace where I am uh, right now and upscaled myself, uh, got my CPWA from IAAP. And now I'm helping a lot of product teams to be accessible uh, at the place where I'm working for. And can you speak a little bit, you've got a lot of first person experience and your lived experience, but can you uh, talk a, a, for a moment or two about how that first person experience working in a technical digital accessibility role, how much value that brings to a team and how that might differ from conceptual learning in training and education before experience. So having a hands-on uh, experience would allow you to be more innovative and creative. Uh, especially when it comes to communication, like if it is advocating for accessibility integration and convincing the leadership um, at the, you know, play, like workplaces, um, it, it's going to give you the opportunity to know from which aspect to come from to convince those leaders because you understand the world of accessibility and you you would expect like the challenge you would face the resistance and knowing those ex I mean having those ex that experience would allow you to properly and effectively communicate and strategize to uh, help 
um, leadership uh, make a decision on uh, accessibility integration. The other main thing I would say to that is um, unique perspective. Like if, especially if you have a person with a lived experience, um, that person would be able to show what other team members uh, were not able to see because they are living the, that um, every day. They are encountering um, accessibility issues every day and uh, they have a lot to say to that. So they can come up with new unique perspectives to the team and broadening the, uh, you know, the view of the team. And what kind of experience, what kind of uh, activities or responsibilities do you think you would expect someone to be able to say they had performed or participated in uh, to, on a technical team? So let's talk about development engineering or code um, related activities. What kind of activities do you think somebody should be able to say they performed instead of we meet a compliance requirement or uh, WCAG AA, uh, what kind of activities would you expect somebody to be able to say they've performed after working in this for three or five years? Yeah, so that would depend on, you know, the, uh, like the, how large the team is. Uh, I mean, there are so many things uh, that can be done, but at least a very high level, I would expect the person to uh, work on, um, you know, uh, performing accessibility testing, both uh, with tools and manually. I would also expect uh, that person to be able to provide appropriate remediations uh, to fix those identified accessibility issues. And the other major thing I would expect is for that person to provide training and coaching for uh, the product teams, uh, developers, or you know, designers, um, those are the very major um, expectations I have. But also, they need to be able to um, assess the progress and capture the gaps and come up with the. Uh, effective strategy on how to, um, you know, make uh, improvement on the process in general. I really like the way that you you've helped kind of shape the fact that web accessibility professionals really can help strategize and help organizations grow and 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 build that understanding of disability usability into their work. I think that's really important. So I hope that that will help people that are learning about web accessibility understand that compliance is a starting point versus our goal to be equitable and usable and to start with that understanding. And I think that strategic influence that you mentioned first is really a great goal. I hope that I hope that all of our web accessibility professionals will will be able to utilize that opportunity. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you so much for making a few minutes to join us today to talk a little bit about this. We'll be hosting uh, little small conversation chats uh, about different topics in web accessibility. Samaroit, uh, as, as they mentioned, does hold the IAAP CPWA. That means that they've earned both the Certified Professional and Accessibility Core Competencies and the Intermediate Digital Access Web Accessibility Certification. So that's a really well-rounded professional. And we appreciate you and your achievements and making time to join us today. Thank you so much.